Hello and good morning viewers and listeners. Thank you for joining me once again on DMAD TV. Please don't forget to subscribe. So today we just want to do things a bit differently. But before we do so, let me tell you, during the time that we will be here, I'm Muna Blawai Road. I'm at a certain service station and it Ndakamira OQ Yekuto Chaga Fuel Of course Zinina na Motaka So Ndiku a good friend of mine But that is not the story The story that we have today Is that of the Morgan Richard Changrai the late May he so rest in eternal peace So this is a history lesson A history story to those Maybe Vangawasati Vanyasokura Pasaka Itika It is the story of what try transpired on the 21st of june in the year 2008 please pardon me for motor zero for zeta noise here and there but hopefully the better part of this video will be understood to everyone so today in 2008 changrai pulled out of the presidential election it was on the 21st of june 2008 if you still remember 2008 it's remembered as a year in zimbabwe when things were not good at all the situation in 2008 moved to unbearable it was not well guys you could relate in in still recall there were certain families who could survive on a boiling mangoes or is a mafuta or become a fresh chips or two things were that bad it was not easy for most people you could recall also quite you are sad that i'm so happy to put a zero connection which is a beans and a kenya way to go not to shy so that i got a kenya and everything everything is in jesus and guess it's on good ball so i guess i call mom so on 21 june 2008 the mdc leader morgan changrai pulled out of the presidential runoff against Robert Mugabe, saying he will no longer participate in this violent, illegitimate sham of an election process. Fearing for his life, Shangrai then fled into exile in Botswana, leaving his deputy Tokozani Kupe in charge of the opposition party, citing political violence. He said a free and fair poor would be impossible so this is what transpired on the 21st of june changrai was forced into exile and he left none other than ma kupe to live so the give so in his own words changrai actually said given the totality of these uh, circumstances we believe a, a credible election is impossible we can't ask the people to cast their Jew, their vote on June 27 when that vote will cost their lives. We will no longer participate in this violent sham of an election, said Changrai in a statement. So Changrai's decision, this decision, this difficult decision followed a campaign of brutality in which independent human rights groups estimate 85 people died and thousands were evacuated from their homes so 2008 wasn't a good year at all you go i recall even in my rural areas there in morewa people were forced to go my camps and stuff some were beaten and some if these things actually happened so the opposition leader himself had been detailed detained by police five times while campaigning and had his vehicle seized in matabeleland province so these are some of the things that happened surely i can really say that we are in a new dispensation in at their minimum if they are still existent at all the mugabe time was not bearable these things happened i saw them even i witnessed them even with my own eyes mdc supporters being brutalized in the rural areas and a situation long back then i don't know maybe i can't rule out the possibility of such things happening so the then south african president tabombeki maintained a rather lukewarm approach to mugabe preferring what he called quite diplomacy 
he, he actually said from their point of view it is still necessary that the political leadership of Zimbabwe should get together and find a solution to the challenges that face Zimbabwe. So Mbeki actually hoped that one day Mugabe and Changirai, the arc rivals, may find each other and resolve the political quagmire that that had a uh, be devoured the country and perhaps resolve also the economic meltdown that was a uh, be devouring also the small country of Zimbabwe, the landlocked country of Zimbabwe. Patrick Chinyamasa, the then minister for Mugabe, dismissed Changrai reasons for a withdrawal from the poor, claiming the widespread violence was being stalked by the MDC and its international supporters. So this script has always been there. They actually claimed that the violence was being caused by MDC. We won't also rule out that we have seen putting there are some tendencies of violence even in the opposition front. There are some reported cases of violence. So Kanazinujitika Kurogo, we won't know whether or not Kutizwatangwanani. But what I can say is whenever supporters get violent and brutalize each other these people will be enjoying like the situation in 2008 Changrai and Robert Mugabe was doing their uh, negotiations in a hotel the background of the of all this was that general elections had been held in Zimbabwe on 29 March 2018 to elect the president and members of parliament so because of Zimbabwe's dire economic situation the elections were expected to provide Mugabe with his el toughest electoral challenge to date and it indeed happened like that having Mugabe his first defeat. They then brushed aside government warnings that declaring their own results amounted to a coup. The MDC announced its version of the results at a press conference in Harare. Later, Zek considered that the combined opposition had won a parliamentary majority the first full official results from presidential and parliamentary votes with all but seven seats declared from two all seven contested the mdc won 96 seats in a breakaway mdc faction led by arthur mutambara and welshman movie had nine seats while zanu pf took 94 so it was MDC Changrai 96, MDC Arthur 9, and then Zanu PF Mugabe 94 seats. The late Morgan Changrai gave Mugabe a good run, and one seat was won by an independent professor, Jonathan Moyo Ocholocho North. The presidential elections were, however, still officially unannounced after weeks. MDC said, it had won the election by 50.3%, 43.8% belonged to Mugabe and 7% to Simba Makoni, the former finance minister. So those figures would mean Changra had taken enough votes in the first round to win the presidency. Chang Ibiti Tendai Biti, the then Secretary General, was on record as saying Morgan Changra is the next president of the republic of zimbabwe without a run of zanupiev has lost this election the final results for the presidential contestant were not officially released until may 2 when it was announced that changrai yet officially garnered 47.9 percent mugabe 43.2 percent but since Changrai had not secured a majority of the votes, a run of election would be necessary, which was later scheduled for June 27. So in the weeks leading up to the run of election, there were reports of a victimization by violent attacks of ZANU-PF supporters by ZANU-PF led government and supporters. The government in turn claimed that the MDC was responsible for the variance. So an increasingly tense climate was further heightened by several government actions, including the detention of Mutambara in Changrai and several other MDC officials and supporters, as well as several diplomats from the United Kingdom and the United States. 
all these were victims of the 2018 runoff election as the politically motivated violence intimidated and rhetoric continued on june 29 21 changrai announced that he was withdrawing from the election citing the impossibility of it being free and fair in the country's current political climate nevertheless the election was still held and mugabe was declared winner with a crushing 97 percent landslide against an absent Shanghai despite assertions from independent observers that the election was also not free and fair sub sad declared negotiations with power sharing government continued and on september 15 of 2008 mugabe mutambara and Shanghai signed a comprehensive power sharing agreement referred to as the global political agreement as part of the agreement mugabe would remain Changrai would remain president rather but would cede some power to Changrai who would serve as prime minister professor atam tambara and tokozani kupe would serve as deputy minister ministers initial jubilation quickly turned to disappointment in the following months when it became clear that mugabe and Changrai could not come to terms on how to implement the agreement agree, arguing over how to allocate the new government's key ministries between zanu pf and the mdc i will conclude by saying that we witnessed some of the best moments in zimbabwe during this power sharing uh, deal in the period between 2008 and 2013 but during this period all was well and this does it for the history of the gnu anokuonikai anegukuchinga mejai nemufaru ndini wenyu honorable madiva